Alrighty. Let's get this one underway. Yeah. We got Hooky, we got Snorpy. Another Daisy versus Weege match, round two of the day. Earlier today we had Brett Frog versus Snorpy. Now we got Prince Mush versus Mart. Uh, this matchup is actually interesting, as these two players are, I would assume, pretty evenly matched. I wouldn't suspect one or the other to be the favorite here. So, I don't have a huge call on this one, to be honest. I would probably slightly give the edge to Mart going in, but not significantly by any means. First point does go to Mart. Mart with a rough slip-up. Let's see if Mush can finish this point. I... The lob is fine. He probably would have got covered anyways, but I would have preferred he slammed regardless. I think he would have had a better chance of making something happen. Mush cutting off the top spins nicely. Goes sort of down the line. I respect it. There was no guarantee, so it's fine. That's a rough lunge. He catches the response, though. A lot of recoveries on this point. This is getting kind of absurd. Nice catch. The hop, though, but a late hit on the flat. And we're still going, and in the end, it's not even a, an advantage that secures the point. It's just straight up scoring in neutral after like 10 saves and disadvantage. You love to see it. That should force a lunge. That should be Mush's first point. He takes the flat like he should. Very nice. Hello there, YOLO. That will be Mush's first point of this game. 15 to 30, Mart. Off to a good start. Nice key battles going on. Mart playing Daisy very similarly to how you'd expect a Peach to play in a lot of ways. Makes sense considering his standard background on Peach primarily. He's got the mo Daisy movement and all that, but he's very much familiar with the T style and can definitely execute and is showing what it can look like with Daisy very nicely. And with that, he will secure this here first game. Change card. Excellent top spin down the line, calling Mart out. I mean, uh, Mush out a little bit. Secures himself game one. 1-0 one -oh Mart. Slices just don't seem to do him enough to the Daisy at baseline so far. We'll see if Mush can figure out how to apply a little more pressure. Rough trip up from Mart. I like that he just slices. The slice seems to be the correct option. Just takes his flat. Very nice and here. Well done, Mush. Standard T versus baseline right now happening. Nice catch. Ooh, the single tap slice. I'm not a fan of the option, but it was spicy there. It worked. I'll give him that one. It worked very nicely. <laughs> single tap slice. Or out flat. Nice punish, but he marches. I mean, Mush just hits it down the middle. Weird option. In the end, works out for him, though. 40 0 lead for Mush. As you would have suspected in a matchup like this, it seems like returning may be having a big factor, as is standard in a lot of MTA matchups nowadays. It seems to be making a rather big difference for Mush right now. So if he can secure one more here. A nice slice. I like these slices that net instead of waiting for the bounce. Mush secures himself another game, one to one. It gives it gives a uh, Luigi a much better finish option when he's just at net with those slices. He can actually close out in a way that he can't really with uh, playing back since his top spin is so weak. Single tap slice again, it's working on Mart, so I can't fault it. I do think it's not an option you should use in general, but it is fine in situations like this. So, Katie, thank you so much for the raid. We are currently game at three in this here DDSA match, full set match as normal with DDSA, between Mush and Mart. Currently one to one. Mush is up 30-15 now as Mart secures that point. A nice battle here we got going on. Hello, laggy. Uh, rough lunge from Mush there, another rough lunge, and he lo he uh, lunges in, gets the lob over his head. We have an exactly tie game here. Uh, this tournament has top tiers banned, if anyone's not familiar with the format. It is all full play on hardcore, top tiers are banned. Mush's decision with Peach being gone was to move to Luigi. Understandable overall, unfortunately it turns out Luigi sucks in this one. <laughs> not really, but somewhat. That Nair is a 40-30 lead for Mush, though. This matchup is considered an extremely even matchup. These players are pretty dang even as well. This is a really good game and could end up really close in the end. And with that, yeah, simple simple is a little stressful at times, because if you make a mistake, you give up a point. That's how it works. Nice play by Mush there. Secures himself his first lead of this or game lead of this game set here. Two to one for Mush. Very nice. Solid play all around. A nice single tap flat. Is not going to secure him a point, though. 
Mush was ready for the follow-up. Interesting option to take that right there. It works against him. I do not agree with taking that lob on the first bounce, especially with that option. But it happens. It's fine. If there was a time for the legendary 6-6, it would be now. But we'll see if it can happen or not. This game is still looking rather close thus far. Mush trying to find a, a push here, not quite finding anything, trying to do the whole down the middle thing. Another option I'm not a huge fan of, but it is what it is. Uh, Mark secures that point in the end, that is 15 to 15. Very nice. That's gonna trip up Luigi, that'll secure a point for Mark. Okay, very nice by Mart. Should secure this point still in the end. Am I really interested? I didn't even know that. That's a nice secure there by Mart. If you can get one more, this game will be back to even. Nice flat. Weak flat. He's able to cover it though. Mush catches that brilliantly though. Great play by Mush and a terrible finish option. Unfortunate. Mush definitely should have been able to secure that point. But he chose the wrong option there. In the end, he's still going to secure it. It's fine. And that was still an amazing catch to get him in that situation. So overall, we still have to praise him a little bit for that one. That was a good play. I just... I, I, very, I am very passionate about people throwing away guaranteed points. <laughs> Great lob by Mart. I think that's actually going to secure him this game. We're going to go to Mart's point of view for... I mean, Mush's point of view for a bit. 2-2 two to two here. We got the even game. Yeah, one, possibly Mush's biggest issue as a player in all the time I've known him is that he just doesn't have the, uh, the, uh, the finishing touch. He's, he's very good at neutral, but he doesn't know when to move up and push advantage all that well. That's always been his weakest aspect. So if he can improve that and find his chances to move up, that will make him much stronger overall. Nice lob, and that should actually... I actually think if he just charged a single tap topspin, even with Luigi, that was a guaranteed point. Uh, it's a rare option, though, so I can't blame him for not being ready for it. Mart kind of running away with this fifth game. After being behind early in a close last game, Mart is running away with this one a little bit. He gets a trip up right there, though, getting much on the board on this year's fifth game. Mush doing the slow serve, gets punished, but he's going to recover, and that's a great catch by Mart right there. Three to two. Excellent shot by Mart, or at more so excellent catch than excellent shot. Great defense from Mart right there. Solid down the line, not going to quite make anything happen. Mush trips up Mart with some nice pressure. That was really good pressure by Mush there. I really like that whole point from him. It was short, but he played it excellently. And on that one, he just trips up his movement, and Marks gets it right back. That's sometimes how it be. Uh, instant lob. The single tap slice I actually am fine with, especially since he bounced, or uh, he did the hop. Uh, unfortunate, bad pivot movement there. Mart punishing that nicely. Yeah, I, I do not like the amount of single tap slices on lobs, but it is what it is. They've been working in this game. I can't take them down too much for it, but, like, I disagree with the option a lot. Solid play there, though. Getting a slice by. Great shot. Great, great uh, net rush there. And that was that was very solid. Gets himself advantage here. Let's see if he can secure one more point. It's a better option for Peach, but I don't like it even on Peach. Because Peach has better options all around, so I don't think it becomes really valuable. But that's my opinion. Um, I, I'm very strong against those. <laughs> Okay. Got Mush trying to move up a little bit. Mark pushes him back with a lob. Ugh. He's alive, he's alive, he's alive. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Nice recovery, nice recovery. Got, that was a little bit of a lucky... Uh... By the way, uh, you did not need to lunge there, Mush. You could have very easily... I don't know if it was a panic lunge, but it looked like you chose to do it. You could have easily covered that single tap slice and probably hit a winner for it. For what it's worth. Nice. This is a very good point right now. We got the classic T versus baseline right now, and Mush comes out ahead. Great flat right there. Wait, seeing the burp on the new Mom Samus. <laughs> Rough trip up right there. I like calling out the lob. Mart is very, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That was the right way to say it, but he likes to lob a lot in those advantage situations. Almost too much, I think. 
Um, it's obviously a good option, it's an exceptional option, but you don't want to do it too much. And I think Mart is doing it a little too much, and I'm happy to see Mush call him out on that. Regardless though, Mart does score two points in a row, now an advantage on this year 6 game. If he can get this next point, he will be up 4-2, to two, which would be a significant lead for him in this match, which has been close overall, for sure. So he would like to get that lead, I'm sure. Great rush by Mush though, that was excellent understanding of your opponent not being able to cover an option. I love what he just did right there. That was, that was amazing push-up for him. That was a good understanding of his character's pressure. That's what I love to see. But once again, enough down the lines and a Luigi will just eventually fall apart. <laughs> down the line really is the secret to answering this character. And I know it sounds stupid, but even if you just keep hitting down the lines over and over, the one time you mix it up, they can't be ready for it because of how much it messes with them. Focusing on the down the line can just break Luigi, in my opinion. And I really think in simple that it should be you that it should be your primary game plan, similar to how you would deal with someone like a boom boom. Luigi sucks, that is my current entire standing on simple, is that character is overrated in this mode. <laughs> nice catch by Must. That's out though, and Mart saves it, but he's still gonna secure the point, probably, but that's not gonna Okay, okay. If if Mush got out of that, that would have been insane. If Mush got out of that, that would have been absurd, but he was not able to. He did not really deserve to. I'm upset he got that, even got that close. <laughs> Great flat by Mush, though. Excellent shot. Let's go. That was beautiful right there. I'm, I'm really liking... Uh, Mush is starting to call out when Mart is out of position really well, and I'm really happy to see that. Because that's what I've considered to be his weakest attribute as a player, as I was saying earlier. And he's showing a little bit better of that, uh, I think he put it killer instinct a few days ago himself that he was lagging. And he's doing a great job of it right now. I'm very happy about it. Nice deuce here. We're at 40-40 yet again. Mush brings it back. Mush hitting a lot of down the middles. I really don't agree with the down the middles and neutral. I, I just don't. Occasionally, maybe, as like a reset thing, both of them doing it a bit now, I really don't like the option. I think it puts you at a worse spot than you think, almost always. Oh, very, very close game so far, Camel Frog. This has been a very good one. Back and forth, and not really anything other than it's been close to say. No one's really had complete domination, but with that point right there, Mart will take a 4-2 lead. So we have a slight advantage for uh, Mart here, actually. I guess sizable at this point, it is fair to say. With that, Mart will take his first point in this game. Still very competitive, though, and I do not I would not consider much out. Uh, this is rough for Mart, though, or Mush, though, because this is the first point he's... This, that was the first game that was lost on a return phase by either player. So Mush now needs to get a win in one of the next two uh, serve phases if he wants to pull this game out. And that will be difficult, as serve phase is much more difficult in this matchup. And it is it does seem to be heavily influencing this match, considering that was the first time it went against that rule. And uh, as you're seeing, once again, Mart is just gaining so much from it. He's, he's, he's getting these advantages instantly and just running with them. These, these points are very fast because of that. And here it is. Mush with a good call, but he misses it. But Mart's going to lunge at that, but Mush is still not going to catch it in the end. Oh my god. Change card. Uh, it, it was... <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I knew he'd lunge at that too, but it, that's unfortunate right there. It still secures the point. Rough for Mush right there. Gives up the first point. No, it's it's a spike. It's a spike in a peach dress and a hot head inside. That's correct. Yes. <laughs> a rough lunge from Mush. Mush looks like his composure's been shaken a little bit. This match looks like he's starting to slip up at up things he really shouldn't be, unfortunate. And it looks like Mart has full control. Mush is going to have to make something happen right here, right now. That was a great single tap flat. Actually trips up Mart still in this game here. Mart still in it. I mean, uh, Mush still in this one. Single tap top spin. I like those top spins. I don't think Luigi has them. I'm sorry. Um, from that position, I don't think Luigi can get away with those. Unfortunately, one of Luigi's bigger problems, in my opinion, is that he does not have that option. Uh, great down the line by Mart. That is match point right there. Let's see if Mush can get two in a row and keep us this game alive, or if Mart will take home a 6-2 win. That's a rough lunge. He's still alive. Nope. Great secure by Mart. That will be the game. Great job to Mart. Competitive game overall. 32-22 sounds better than 6-2. Competitive, for sure. Good night.